Hi, beautiful soul. Thank you for being here, mostly in the moment with me, Mystic Mia Moksha, for another Love Picture Card reading. We're looking at their thoughts about you right now. We have three piles here. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much for all your likes and comments. It really, really helps me along with my soul mission. My goal here is to reach 10,000 subscribers by the summer, and I really, really appreciate each like, each comment, each emoji that's being sent, each well wish, each prayer that's being sent to me so I can achieve my soul mission, which is to help others get on their soul mission in their highest and best path. So thank you so much for shining your little bit of your light this way so I can shine my light and help others shine theirs brighter. With that, I hope you enjoy the reading and I wish you much love and light. Hi, Pile 6. Let's look at their thoughts about you right now. What are they thinking about you right now? Knight of Cups. Okay, they're thinking a lot of romantic thoughts about you, actually. Um, I'm getting a sense of um, warmth. Feeling... Um, this, like, feeling, you know, when you just, you just came home after a long day that kind of feeling have thoughts about you never ending story yeah I f I'm getting this feeling that um, sometimes they get feel like they get lost in the crowd when they're away from you when they're out like outside of their house like they get lost in the shuffle of the people at work or um, in their friends group or their in their family um drama or something they just get like lost or left out they could be like a middle child or they might have had um they might have had absentee parents or um maybe they just are kind of more of a wallflower but i feel like um they feel like very small or like lost in the crowd um or they feel sometimes it's like overwhelming how many people are around them maybe they live in a city or something like that or maybe they work for a big company or um, they work with a lot of people and so it's kind of like you you know people forget your name and stuff like that so I feel like um, when they see you it just feels like they can shut the outside world out off you know they can just shut the outside world out and you know turn the noise off and you gave them you give them that kind of like peace and serenity and the feeling of like home and like like yes like i can finally be free okay so many cards came out um six of waters six six um six of cups that's the reunion energy that's the kind of the energy i was feeling right off the bat um, just a sense of like harmony I feel like because this girl is looking at the reflection of herself in the water um, it seems like a different girl in the reflection I never noticed that but um, I feel like they see themselves in you so I feel like you have some of the same troubles as them um and it goes without saying. Like, you both don't have to describe the kind of day you've had to each other. It's kind of like you both can just read each other's face. Just kind of, you both might have, like, some, like, stronger tele telepathic energies. Or you just know each other. Your energies are so intertwined because you know each other so well. Or have been around each other's energies for so long. That you can just tell, like, the kind of experiences that they had that day. And they can do the same for you. And they just find that to be like a very, I don't know, like you're a part of them. Higher power, yeah, that's what I was like thinking. I'm like, it's kind of like, um, like there's like a higher bond between the two of you, a stronger bond. And there is a sense of home with each other where it's just like, like a, so comforting to be around the other person. Like someone who understands you on that deeper level. Um, that knows exactly the right things to say. Um, 
you know, if, if you are to be congratulated or if something's like a difficult or if something's like a personal best for you or something's like a huge achievement for you, but it might not, other people might not get it or something like that, like your person gets it. They know exactly what to say. They know exactly what you mean when you talk about your work or when you talk about an issue with a friend or um, something you're excited about that's like small, like they get you. Um, wow. Four of water, four of cups, this is all cups energies here. So there's a lot of, they're, they're, they're feeling a lot of emotions for you. Um, yeah, and we're looking at their thoughts and a bunch of their emotions are coming up. So, you know, um, you're on their mind right now very strongly because they're having deep, deep emotions about you right now. Yang. Uh, that's like the masculine energy. I feel like, um, I feel like they're, they're wishing to be just kind of like, like have a day or two or a whole week or a whole month with you where you don't have to do anything and you can just be together and you can just have fun and let like see what happens in the moment and they're like really excited by that thought they like hanging out with you in afternoons and the bed you know kind of thing when the sun's still out you'll lay on the bed and still look at the clouds or something like that or hear the birds chirping and you're just fooling around and it's lunchtime and you're not at work or something like that like they're having thoughts like like that or similar to that um it's making them very um like want want those moments with you so they probably want to have a trip with you or a vacation with you or they just want to spend time with you at home doing nothing or on vacation doing nothing just kind of laying there and just kind of seeing what happens in the moment just laying next to you just playing with your hair or something like that um and four of earth okay so two fours two sixes and two fours um I do feel um, they they feel very grounded. Four of Pentacles, like that's like my home card. So they feel like very I don't know, like wishing and wanting to just spend more time with you. I'm getting, um, and it's not like a toxic thing, and it's not like they're they want you out of boredom or because or out of escapism they want to try to escape their life or anything and it's not because like they're obsessed with you it's no like toxic energy they just they're very grounded in the, their energies and their thoughts and in this specific thoughts um about you of just spending time with you just sitting next to you you don't have to even say anything just hanging out you know one person could be on their phone the other person could be reading a book or a magazine or, or a newspaper or something and like you could each could be doing your own thing but like still being like able to like hold each other's hand or something <laughs> um while doing those other other things or something like that it's very sweet like they just want to spend time with like around you and it's very grounded it's not like because of a toxic reason chop wood yeah see they, they, it's very grounded like they just want to do like chores with you maybe clean the garage out um work on that finish that project that you both have going on um they just kind of want to stay at home and be around you um i feel like they even they're even having thoughts and like thinking about like what can they do to maybe spend more time at home with you or take be able to take more trips with you or if they even work at home like what other projects they can do around the home with you if you're not living together they want to like they want they're dreaming about it they're thinking about like the little moments that you have together the the the, the days where you're just like you know you know butt to butt moving past each other because one person's trying to go to the kitchen the other person's trying to do laundry and it's just like the little moments like that they're like like um really daydreaming about and um like very heavily like there's so many wa so much water energy um 
and this masculine fire energy and this like grounded earth chop woods do chores kind of energy and if it, it just i feel like they feel like they're like in a hamster wheel and they can't get out of like the you know the cycles of work and daily responsibilities and they just like i just want to spend like like simple moments with you and spend time with you um just hanging out like i just want to hang out with you okay so what are some of the thoughts that they're having about you i want to protect you from my scars yeah they're like that that's why i'm getting like you you two don't even have to tell each other exactly what happened during your day or if you tell each other what's ha what what you did that day you don't have to go into specifics because you already get it you know they might just be like oh guess who showed up at work today and then they're like oh this person and they already know they already know what happened you know <laughs> they already know exactly how you felt exactly what that person did you know and it's just like they just I feel like they you both are like mirrored so you both kind of like try not to tell each other like 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 the best things and the worst things that happen during a day because you don't want the other person to feel bad if they didn't have such a good day and you don't want to make the other person feel worse if um like and feel bad for you if you if you didn't have such a good day so it's kind of like you both like try to protect each other and so it's like uh, it's really sweet, but it's also very, like, like, I don't know, a little bit overprotective. Because I feel like both of you kind of need someone to, like, kind of nurture and protect you from the outside world. And so you're trying to be that for the other person. I can't find the words for my feelings. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're feeling a lot towards you. They're having a lot of thoughts, a lot of feelings about you and like kind of trying to get out of this like, I don't know, um, routine that they have that they don't enjoy and they want to try to get with you more. Um, but they can't describe like all these, like, you know, they're like strong feelings but they're smaller feelings but they have a lot of them and they don't know how to explain it to you and that's when they're not telling you. Um, you you bring joy into my life how cute so yeah I do feel like you make them feel um, so so happy um, you are their joy I'm, getting, I'm hearing are they feeling about you thinking about you cleanse yeah I feel like they're just like I just need I like I feel like the both for the both of you they're like I just need to reset I need to reset us but I need to reset myself first so I feel like they need to kind of just like like they're in this kind of like loop like you know how when you're like in a bad situation like at a job that you don't like and you're going in every day and you're and you're like you know working from home and then like you start dreaming that you're going to work and that's when you know that's when I that's usually when I know I'm in a bad like cycle Cause like I'm dreaming about that thing um, and I, I think I'm actually at work when I'm dreaming so I was like um, that was like at my last <laughs> office job and so, so I'm getting like that like they're like I need to reset myself and I need to reset our lives our connection um, so they're thinking about that like a lot um, faith yeah and I feel like they're getting more into like spirituality and stuff like that because um they really want to figure out like how how to live like a better life because they want more time with you and they're like I'm not like I'm I don't want to live this way and then just die like I want to have more time with you in this lifetime so they are thinking of things like that a lot right now okay and you matter to me you matter to them a lot a lot more than you think 
Um, um, and they're, you're very much on their their hearts and their minds strongly at this time. And cause they're thinking about you because you're like the main reason that they want to kind of, you know, rework their life and their like daily schedule. Um, those are their thoughts. You're always on my mind, yes, yeah, see? Like you're on their mind a lot right now. Um, doing a lot of thinking. Like, how can I make this better? How can I spend more time with them? Like, I don't, like, maybe, um, maybe they've watched a lot of shows or movies or heard a lot of things from their friends or coworkers about, like, you know, people not being, you know, able to spend time with their loved ones, like, missed vacations or someone passing away or someone having a long-term illness or something. It's like, oh, I don't want to wait until tomorrow to spend more time with you. Okay, last card. What is Spirit's advice for you in this connection? You are divinely supported. So, well, first of all, Spirit 100% supports their thoughts of you because it's very healthy and it's very grounded. Um, and it's like you are their like sanctuary, I'm getting. And um, they... Spirit's like, yeah, I'm all on board for you making this change. Like, I'm glad you figured this out. Like, they're really tuning into their higher power, tuning into the higher power, into their highest light. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, I really appreciate it. Like a comment, it really, really helps me out this time. Thank you so much to all those that have been uh, supporting me. I, I, I can't tell you how much it means to me. It, it's like, uh, overwhelming. It's been really heartwarming. Thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I wish you much love and light. Hi, pile number seven. Let's look at their thoughts of you right now. What are they thinking about you right now? The world. Oh, wow. Um, I feel like, uh, you might've given them an opportunity to kind of merge like world, reality, lives, merge your lives together. Um, you might have spoke about it or brought it up or maybe your energy is just ready and they sense it, they picked up on it and they are, I'm getting, I'm getting very happy and unexpected um, tones from them. Um, it was like they didn't expect you to be ready wanting this, um, wanting this so soon or wanting this at this time. And it's unexpected, but they feel it from your energy. You might have spoken about it, but I feel like for most people, they just like pick up on it. And it's like unexpected, but like a pleasant surprise. And so it's like, I don't know, it's opening up like happiness for them. And it's like new still. Ooh, look at all this blue energy. Yeah, I feel like, um, it's unexpected because it feels like to them that they've been going around and around, like repeating the same cycles, repeating the same relationships, repeating the same things outside of relationships and their work and their life and their friends, social life, um, in, in their habits and their day to day routine. And it just feels like this is a huge like level up and they weren't really expecting it from you or in this area of their life. And so they're kind of, um, I'm feeling like they're ready to like transform. I feel like they already feel transformed because just the idea of this coming to them makes them feel brand new. And they really are liking this energy. And it was so unexpected. It's like, it's like the universe gifted them like new sneakers that they love and they love they're like smelling it, they're looking at it, they're trying it out. And it's just like, wow, I got brand new pair of shoes and I didn't expect it and I love it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like uh, relating this new high vibrational level of existence for your connection and relationship. I don't know why am I, I'm relating it to shoes, but there might be a reason. I think some, someone who's watching this has like, you know, gets, gets that um, divine sign. Anyway, um, their thoughts about you. Three of Swords. Um, 
there's there's something that you might have been dealing with um, that was really, really tough to work through. You might be at the tail end of working through this, actually. And you, I feel like you took this on mostly yourself. You didn't really tell them a lot about what was going on, um, which is why it makes me feel like this connection is new or hasn't gone to like the next level yet or um yeah um because because that you you because you dealt with this thing it was like your thing though it was like before the two of you met or it was, it was like it was your thing not like the two of your things not not an issue for the two of you so you dealt with it by yourself you might have told your person about it or um A little bit, but I feel like for, for a lot of you, like, they don't really know at all. Or they might have a little bit, or they might have a clue that something was going on, but they don't know what. Um, or they might just not be able to understand it fully. Maybe you're a very complex person, and what was going on with you was more than one thing. Um, but you're at the tail end of it. Um, I feel like, okay, I'm getting most of you already have um, finished this. Um, healing, um, difficult energy, whatever. And so that's why your energy is giving off. I'm ready for the world. Like I'm ready to get out there. And they're picking up on that. So they're getting excited because they think it's like for this connection. But in reality, you're ready for much more than just the relationship. Regeneration. Yeah, this is your energy coming this way. So, um, and the, the energies could be vice versa, but like, I usually read like this energy coming this way is you and then energy coming in that way is the other person. But um regeneration like you're regenerated, like you're primed and ready to go. Like you did some deep, deep rooted healing. Like this tree goes all the way down to like the magma core. Like so I like I feel like you went down that's why I'm like yeah it could be very complex because it wasn't just like one thing and that's why I feel like you didn't want to get this person involved because it was like it was like a multitude of things and it would be hard to explain kind of thing. And it was kind of like your thing to deal with. It was something that you were going through like before you met this person or it was like a long-term thing that was like something you had from when you were, you know, a child or something and like had throughout your life. So it, you wouldn't expect your person to kind of be a part of this healing. It's not there. It's not theirs I'm getting. Um, okay. So their thoughts about you transformation yeah that's exactly i literally said transformation when i brought up the world card so um that's a huge energy that's the death card yeah so i feel like um i'm, I'm reading the energy now it's not you or them it's like the connection um the connection is ready to go through a transformation So it might have not just been you that went through this like deep healing by yourself. They might have been th went through a deep healing on their end too that they weren't really telling you about on their own. Imagine, yeah. And it came out in hand, which is like you're keeping, both of you are kind of keeping this to yourself. Um, like you both had like dreams or high hopes and... Um, specific visualizations that were keeping you going during this time even though you two were together or even though you two were talking or connected very strongly somehow um you both decided to go through this massive change that involved a lot of things deep deep transformation and might have used the other person in your vis visualization to keep you motivated and inspired to keep going so like maybe you visualized uh this new home with them or this new life with them and what it would look like and so this person was really very much a part of your inspiration motivation and visualization techniques to keep you going um and they were yours you were their inspiration and you, they were yours but it's kind of funny because I, I feel like both of you did not know at all 
the amount the other person is going through. It's like you're both kind of living like separate lives. Even if you're together, whether you're in a long-term relationship, just dating, or in little to no communication. Like if it was like, it's surprising that until now, until the until the end of it, both of you probably didn't really even realize the depth of the other what the other person was going through because you were going through some that level of regeneration and transformation yourself so even if you were together in a couple for example like you both were kind of probably like maybe having dinner together and not even realizing this you know if you're a little to no communication you, you know um you probably weren't really getting that many signs um about what they're going through because their highest light, their higher self was helping you, giving you signs for like your what you needed to hear, what you your advice you needed to get from the divine, um, signs you needed to get to get you through this. You, you didn't have the time to think about them or what they were going through. What you were going through was pretty tough yourself. Okay, I hope I explained that <laughs> well. Well enough. Okay, Queen of Swords. Okay. Look at all this like very blue energy. So I feel like I feel like there's a lot of communication about to come through. Um I, I know that they were thinking about talking to you because even all this, like the world, like I told I told you that like they sensed it about you. You didn't tell them, they just sensed it about you. They somehow knew. Um through like social media, through other people, through energy, through like their, you know, spirit team telling them, their intuition telling them, the higher, you know, whatever. Like they sensed it. So like communication hasn't come yet, but there's so much blue that there you probably your energies are probably going crazy right now. Like you're probably getting, picking up a lot from them and they're pro probably picking up a lot from you now because both of you kind of like like, I feel like you're even your higher self and spirit team were just kind of like, we can't let you know exactly what's going on with the other person because you need to survive. You need to get through this first. So that's why I feel like there's a lot of blue here, especially like this like kind of um, blue-green color. Like a sea green, blue-green, turquoise, jewel-like, which reminding me of the third chakra so i feel like communication is coming they've been thinking about it and definitely thinking about it change in the wind yeah um it's just like there's such significant change between within both of your individual energies that there is a massive change in the energy in the connection between the two of you you're literally leveling up into a new reality i feel like both of you are like ready to jump into another timeline you're both ready to jump into a new future a new reality together um jump into the new cycle or something whatever it is however you want to describe it like you two are both ready for that um and you can sense it so now you're going to start picking up because you're at the tail end of like this individual healing now you're going to start picking up on what the other person's doing much stronger um, because you had to focus on yourself, they had to focus on themselves, and now you're going to pick up on each other's energy so, so much more, and communication is coming through as well. Kiss me deep and love me forever more. Yeah, they can't wait. I feel like they can't wait for a reunion. They can't wait, like, even if you two are together in a relationship, just dating, or are, are even communicating, it's like, it doesn't matter. Like, this is, like, a real energetic union. Like, you two weren't really there with each other because you're both kind of, like, in your own th in your own world, really. That's why I'm getting, like, the worlds are merging. Like, you're finally going to be able to see each other, acknowledge each other, like, for real. Even if you were together, like, you're not, you haven't been together like this. We will find each other one day. Yeah, so now you're, now you're picking up on each other's, like signs it's like kind of like you send each other letters but you're not you couldn't open them and now you're p getting all the letters that they sent in bulk you know and you're opening up all the letters and reading them at once that's what i'm getting i just wanted to call you but i won't yeah see um a communication is c coming 
I don't know about the I don't I won't part. Um, let's see, would they? Yeah, no, I feel like they do want to call and they will. They have been thinking about it for a very long time, though. I think that's why I I won't come in because they're like they assume that they'll get this feeling of wanting to call you or talk to you or meet up with you or talk to you for real um but they've said that so many times to themselves before that they're probably not going to do it this time either but they're gonna this time they are going to yeah okay um What are they thinking about you? I want harmony between us. Yeah. I feel like it might have, you both might have left like not being on the same page. Um, or, you know, entered this kind of like healing, in like solo healing journey, not being on the same page. And that kind of was difficult knowing that you two kind of had to go on this journey alone and before you had before you like embarked on this solo journey you two weren't on the same page it didn't feel good that you had to do this whole journey without you two being on the same page before you left kind of thing i loved you since before you knew it's like yeah um whatever happened before like um I loved you. I like... I loved you before you knew. Yeah. Because I feel like you doubt it sometimes. Like, do they really comfort? Um, but they did. They really did. Um, loved you before you, they even told you. Or before you could even tell. Um, it was immediate. They loved you despite not really getting to know each other, I'm getting. It's like, we didn't really get to know each other. I wish we got to know each other more. But I still loved you, even, even though I didn't say that, or even though you couldn't probably tell that I loved you, even though we didn't get to know each other that well. And like, despite if you've been together for a long time, or known each other for a long time, or we're in middle of another communication, or dating, or whatever, um there's a sense of like, yeah, but we didn't get to really know each other on that level that I wanted us to know, you know? We didn't even know that there was more that existed or something like that. You were both kind of in your own world or had to be in order to, to get this healing. Comfort. There was a bit of comfort just kind of imagining the other person and their lives together than actually being with them and actually doing those things. So, so there's that's why there's a little bit of resistance. Like, oh, I'll... I'll I want to call you, but I probably won't because, like, they're so used to just, like, living with the dream version of you, their imagination version of you, you know? Um, flow. But I do feel like um, the floodgates just kind of opened and um, you're both very much able to um, connect to each other and know what's going on with the other person much more now than before. And last card, what is Spirit's advice for this connection? Your world is about to transform. Are you kidding me? How synchronistic is that? Transform, transform, regeneration. Your world is about to transform. Are you kidding me? I can't make this up. This, this is so beautiful. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the reading. If if, res if you resonated, I'd really appreciate a like or a comment. It really lets me know that you resonate with these like higher vibrational, more spiritual readings. Um, and and yeah, I, I love doing these readings and I would love to do more of these like high vibrational love readings. And, you know, I just need to know that um, there's there's people that resonate with that. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I wish you much love and light.
Hi, pile eight. Let's look at their thoughts about you right now. What are they thinking about you? Okay, hermit in reverse. Okay, for me, when the hermit comes out in reverse, like they kind of still want like a lot of alone time, but just the two of you. They want a lot of you two alone time away from, you know, family and friends and co uh, co-workers and phone calls and you know distractions they just want alone time with just you no one just showing up at the door and um unexpectedly or calling you to solve a problem for them or work asking if you can come in on the weekend or um you know the neighbor you know you know getting into a you know argument at the end of the driveway or I don't know what I'm thinking, talking about but like they just like don't want any distractions like um you know the, the plumbing breaking and you need to call the plumber and having to have people around at the home or something like that like, you're just like you know having your phone so busy that they can't call you or you not being allowed to be around your phone so they can't like message you throughout the day or something they just like like I just want to have it just us two for a little while I just want us to be alone together for a bit to be fair like I don't care if it's not fair <laughs> like I don't care if it's not fair um, I know it's not fair. Like, like, I know it's not fair. Um, that I am so busy with work, or that I have so much going on with my family, or that my friends need my help, or you know that I'm being called in every two seconds. Like, I know it's not fair to you, and that's why I I wish I could just, you know do something big and you know run away with you or something like that um and then I'm also getting like you're saying that's not fair because like it's like oh you know like I want to spend a lot of time with you but like you know you know I, you know I have to do this thing for my sister you know I have this thing for my brother's wedding or for for my kids or for for my parents or my grandparents or you know for this thing at work you know for for this, for my health thing, you know, for, for my community, for the charity that I'm work, um, volunteering at. It's like, you know, that's not fair that you just wanted to be asked to, you know, I'm really busy this week. You know, I'm really busy this month. You know, you know, I, I told you like a year ago that this is going to be a really busy season for me or something like that. So like, I see it on both ends. Like, um, someone might be saying is like that's not fair that you want this like when you know like this is a really busy time for me uh, or um someone saying like it's not fair that we don't get enough time together alone magician okay i feel like that's their energy coming in like they, they just want to make um some magic happen thinker and magician i feel like they're like trying to think of a way this is very similar to the first file as well um they're trying to think of a way to kind of um spend more time alone with you um they feel like they can do it they're like i can do this like that's why i'm like oh i feel like they're about to take a huge risk like i'm gonna quit my job <laughs> um and i feel like the other person like think about this be fair don't do something rash <laughs> like you know um but yeah, I feel like um, they're about to pull some like magic out of a hat, uh, like a rabbit out of their hat. Like they have, I'm, they're they're thinking about something. They're actually thinking about doing something very drastic in order to spend more time with their love done, um, with the person that they love, whether that's you or um, if they're not, if you if you two aren't together. Um, they're just thinking about this in general that they want they want to be able to spend more time with their partner in the future when they find them 
their thoughts about you. Um, seven of fire, seven of wands. Yeah, they're they're really more than the first pile. I they're very um they're willing to more like fight for it. They're really t like sick of this. They're really ready to do something drastic. Oh my goodness. Okay, breathe in reverse. Okay. Let's turn all these cards around. Um, all these cards came out, like a lot of these cards came out in reverse. And for me, that's a sign that like these energies are happening now, like right now. In the next like few days, few weeks kind of thing, few months at most. But like they're about to like do something really drastic. Um, yeah, so it's like breathe because I feel like they're getting so worked up. They're getting very worked up about like I feel like maybe the two of you more than pile six um, have been actively getting blocked by people. Like it's like almost like a like on like running joke between the two of you. It's like. Like, you finally get to sit down on the couch, and then, like, someone's mother calls. It's like, oh my gosh, are you seriously, are you kidding me? And then they want you to come over to help with this, some emergency, blah, blah, blah. And it feels like the two of you cannot get a break. And it's like something's got to give. And they're very serious. They're like, I'm about to do something for us. I don't care about anyone else. I just want you and me at the end of the day to make sure that we have time together. Like, we can't survive this. Like, people need to, like, understand that, like, they can't like keep taking away our attention from each other like distracting us it's very it's it's, re it's really i'm getting like they're getting worked up um king of fire yeah king of wands um truth be told yeah they want to unleash <laughs> they're about to like they want to tell off um their own family or your family or their friends or your friends or your work or their work or everybody they're about to like go off on people because they they don't they do they just don't care they're like i don't care no one nothing matters more than you nothing matters than um us having some like i'm getting like just peace of mind protection from everyone else they're like seriously considering like like going away with you for like six months or like a year or two or five somewhere like nowhere no one can like reach the two of you because or you know can't visit you every other day or can ask you to come over for some sort of emergency or this or that um they're about to tell off the whole world for you this is it's very romantic but it's also they're very like um <laughs> like enraged that's what spirits like breathe because like I think they've been like kind of patient for so long it's like I can't be patient any longer okay um love is a real pain yeah and so it's like very painful for them and for you too probably because um they actually really deeply love you. And when you deeply love someone, it hurts to be away from them. Like it's unmanageable. Impossible. And so you, you can understand why they're just losing it. Okay. Um, the thoughts about you right now. Your touch ignites a sun within me, but it came out in reverse. So I feel like they're um like when when you two get some time some like intimacy alone time and just like even time to just like sit next to each other to watch a movie and just be able to like have your arms touch or put your legs over the other person like they're like that makes like that like re-energizes my soul I need you. I need to hold you. I need to touch you. I need to be around you. I need us without all, all of this other stuff, <laughs> you know? Um, and I feel like they haven't been able to get that. And that's like igniting another kind of fire. Um, 
like a bomb or something um the wrong kind of fire <laughs> it's 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 showing them a part of themselves that they never kind of seen they um um i feel like they can hold their own but like i feel like they're really being pushed to the limits and they're they're showing their like mama bear papa bear like ferociousness like per- love protection side of them that they've never seen i just saw 4444 um so yeah i feel like um they're they're ready to bring in some sort of i mean rock solid foundation a bunker <laughs> i'm kidding um they're ready to do something really different in order to bring more stability into and security into this connection i'm getting like locked down to safeguard us like i need to safeguard our connection i need to safeguard us or something like that our fate is to create an unforgettable story yeah hmm what do they mean by that? King of Pentacles. They, they don't feel like they're in. They're in control of their own like household. You know, it's kind of like you know you have to get your own home, like own house in check first before you can go out and do it with something else like they're like i can't even create a like beautiful story with you a beautiful life with you if i can't get like if i can't get this connection on the right path like we can't even see each other how we're we supposed to have a beautiful life together if i can't even see you or if, if we can't spend like quality time together or we're always being distracted or people always come in between us Okay. Um, their thoughts about you right now? Rest and it came out in hand, so it's like they might they might be so exhausted, but they're not telling you this, and you might just see kind of them being more agitated recently, or you might see this like Hulk or She Hulk version of them come out and trying to protect the two of you, like getting mad at everyone that distracts you or them or both of you. And, like, any, like, anything that comes up that, like, prevents the two of you from, like, spending time, spending quality time together, they're, like, I'm getting, like, Hulk or She-Hulk version of themselves is coming out to be, like, pro- like protect the two of us. And it's, like, <laughs> and you're, like, what? Like, you're, like, wow, this is, like, this is kind of sexy <laughs> seeing this part of the side of them. Um, that They must love me so much. But at the other, at the other side, like, on the other end you're kind of like oh it's like something i should be worried about and what they're not telling you is that they're completely exhausted and they're like i said before they're re-energized when they're with you like you're the thing that they love the most they might have hobbies that they might they might have food or they might have activities that they like doing friends that they like hanging out with family whatever but you are their ultimate source of love and energy and you know, calm, peaceful, rested, well-rested energy. It's you. And you, them. But, like, you know, we're looking at their thoughts. Um, Protection. Yes, see? Oh, my God. So on point. Um, Protection. Like, I got to protect. I got to protect this uh, connection. I need to protect us. I need to protect us. That's what I keep getting. Like, I need to protect us. Like, whatever it is that maybe people things situations circumstances distractions your phones um work the neighborhood your neighbors um friends and i just keep distracting one one of you and then the other person and then both of you and it's just like calm my gosh 
God love it. Can I have some peace here? Can I just have my wife? Can I just have my husband <laughs> for a second? Um, okay. The thoughts about you. I love you. That's so cute. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, see, like, they, they, this person, like, they deeply, genuinely love you. This is true love. This is because you don't fight for, like, a connection like this without true love like this. This is true love. They're trying to protect the two of you. Protect us. I gotta protect us. I gotta protect us. I, like, you know, they don't have to say it. You can tell. They, both of you, like, love each other very, very much. I love you, period. That should be the whole reading. It's just, I love you. Do I need to say more? <laughs> Everything I think about, all my actions, the stress in my life, the most pain and the most love and energy and divineness is you, is the love between us. I'm confronting my past this might have been an issue in the past between the two of you or um, um, it, it might be it might be compounded because this is such a big lesson and hurdle for the two of you that you might the two of you might have dealt with this in the past but also individually it's like it's a collect it's a Combinate culmination of um, things that that happened in the past because this is a huge hurdle for the two of you to kind of move past. So this could be something like, um, you know, oh, being too kind to people, always oh, sacrificing your um, your time in order to help others, um, never being able to say no, um, you know, having um, overreaching family family without boundaries friends without boundaries or um um inappropriate um intimacy with friend groups or um um always ha having to put work before anything else before um you know always being so money minded that like you had to like anything that came up with money like you're just automatically on it without thinking about what you're what you left to you know deal with that um a bunch of like little things like that this is like the culmination of it this is like the final boss um for the two of you because um after this hurdle i mean you're creating an unforgettable story um it's like even though the two of you are like husband wife or something like that or whatever a situation is, even though you two are kind of partnered already um it never seemed like you could fully um be in that role and that's something that you both of you always just wanted especially with each other only with each other i'm getting um so it's kind of like enough is enough um time to deal with this final boss a lot of it's, this this hurdle for the two of you involves a lot of little things like for them it's like you know being able to be calm and not being like not like, like the little things kind of rile them up and they've been doing that it's like it's like the culmination of a bunch of little things like this but especially when it comes to other people being involved, outside circumstances being involved, where they put their energy and focus and that kind of stuff. And I'm also getting um, a lot of good karmas coming back for the two of you. Okay. Grow. Um, I'm getting growing pains because this is, I feel like this is where, this is where the, your connection with this person goes through a huge growth spurt. And that's why... That's what this was all about. It's like the two of you were going through, your relationship was going through puberty. And it's about to come out very mature on the other side, okay? <laughs> but that's where like the fun begins. That's where you start to have the unforgettable story. And it's like the both of you didn't really get to be 
who you fully could be to each other. And that's the only thing both of you really want. And you just kept getting distracted by all of life's things. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If it resonated, I really appreciate it. Like a comment. It's been really, really helping me out. Thank you for all of those that have been giving me a like a comment. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I do like getting uh, comments of like weird emojis that people don't get to use as much if i see one then i'll like put it into like a pile or something in a future reading so you'll know that that pile is like more resonant for you um and with that i hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and i wish you much love and light